let's go talk to Rob out in Colorado. He, him pronouns. Uh, sounds like you're asking about uh, theists reading the Bible and, and, and maybe not maybe not catching everything that it's trying to say. How are you, Rob? Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good. How you guys doing? <clears throat> oh, pretty doing good. Well. Pretty good. Yeah, what you got for us today? Yeah, so basically I was a theist for a very long time. Like all my life mm -hmm. I, I was indoctrinated from the kid, my you know, my parents, my grandparents, um, and so on and so forth. Um and um I, I guess I can uh I guess I can contribute my atheism to my pastor for uh offering seminary classes to me <laughs> sure, sure. and where I actually had to actually do some deep studying in the Bible. And, um, along the way, um, I was also taking some online courses, uh, with biology and, you know, learning about different things that I never was really exposed to as a Christian in mm -hmm. science. You know, my parents never taught me about evolution. Um, nobody ever really talked about it around me in the school. I went to just like most of the schools, they kind of, you know, the dilly dally around it. They don't really teach it properly. So I just started, uh, uh, shout out to Forrest Valka. It's one of my favorite biologists, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. Great. I, dude. Just, uh, I just wanted to uh, say like, that's what actually put me on my journey to atheism is learning those things first. Um, and it not really, you know, like I, I can't learn that the earth was created through the birth of the sun and all the other planets in our solar system. And then believes that, you know, God created the earth first. And on the fourth day, he created the sun. Like, it, it's mm. like, so like, I, I just don't, I guess what I'm trying to say, I don't see how other theists can't come to that realization. And then when you get deeper into the Bible, like my church never even ta taught me the story of Jephthah. I had to actually yeah, learn yeah. that on my own by actually yeah, yeah, studying that, the Bible. Yeah. You know, like um, they like to keep so that I, one a little hidden I, for some weird reason. I don't know why, but yeah. right, right. Well, <laughs> Abraham didn't actually go through with it, and Jephthah did. So right, you know, they don't right. want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, give give me a second here, Rob. Um, Tom, what what are your thoughts on this, man? Like, uh, why why did you uh, uh, why did you think the what why why do you think it's so difficult? you know, for, for people to get away. Oh, that's my bad. I, I started talking and then wasn't sure where I was going. It doesn't matter, folks. The point is that uh, I, I know for me personally, um, the reason that it was so difficult to see a lot of those problems that you were talking about, Rob, um, is in part something that you touched on, you know, real quickly, which is you just weren't exposed to it for, for so long, you know, and that in a lot of times is purposeful. It, it, is, it is something that certain ideologies will do in an effort to make it more difficult to push back on them, right? It, it's something that insulates you from having to actually right. put in work. And that actually is really, really nice. It, so it's not... It's not just that humans want an answer for stuff, right? We we hear that a bunch, a bunch of people say that, and, and that definitely makes sense as to why a lot of times we go to these supernatural thinkings um, is because we do like an answer. But you know what we like more than just an answer? We like an answer that's fucking simple. <laughs> if, if, if it can yeah. be yeah. easy peasy it's it's great it's so much better and when faced oh, with another answer that is a slightly more difficult it it's honestly it just kind of feels natural for us to want to go back to that easy one because it doesn't take as much right, work right. to get there right uh, but i just don't understand like why can't we just ask the question all right we have the question where did all this come from who created yeah we don't know. We don't have no natural right. explanation for it. Why can't we just leave it at that until we find one? Yeah, Why can't and we I just, think like just leave it, like because like we're born atheists. Like I don't even think atheists should even be like a, a term to describe anything. Like sure. we're just mm -hmm. like it should be really theist. You're you you just believe. Like you you're making the claim, not me. You know, like yeah. 
And real, real quick, I'm going to, I'm going to throw it back uh, to Tom here in a second, but um, yeah, I mean, in part, you know, it kind of brings us back to, I think our first call where, where we had been kind of asked about like, why do we do this and stuff? Um, And, and one of those reasons for sure results from the fact that truly my position is mostly a response to what people are claiming. Right. And so it's like, if people out there would just, just shut the hell up every so often and stop trying to hurt other people and take people's rights away for their belief, I probably wouldn't say so much, you know, I probably wouldn't say as much stuff. It wouldn't be necessary. Like, sure. I guess that technically puts me out of, you know, a fun hobby that I do every so often, but you know, I'll figure something else out like bird watching or something. Um, But Tom, what do you think? Why, why is it so difficult sometimes for, for the believers to, to see the bad stuff that comes along with that belief? I don't know. I, I think the, the question you're asking Rob too is, is like, what do we do about it? Right. Mm. You, you, cause we're same, same team, right? Like, man, how do you talk to them? Do, do you talk to them about it? Grandma, are you going to talk to grandma? You're going to convince grandma that after living however many years that there's actually this, no, she is. Sorry, they tricked you the whole time. Nobody wants to feel like that. So it's really difficult to have these conversations. I just like even even talking to people, you know, like you like to educate them, like, hey, look, check this out. Check, check. Hey, watch this guy. You know, Mm -hmm. listen to what he has to say about evolution. Like, like, check this out. Like, really dive deep into it. It's like none of that matters. They but God. It's just but God. Yeah. Yeah. And think about it. I mean, isn't it comforting? When you had God, that was a comforting thing to some degree. Yeah. There's there's the goods and the bads, and I I experienced both of them. But I feel it was you know, child abuse, though. I, I feel I, like I, I get that thought because like coming coming away from it, you know, like I actually believed in these the hell, like I, it was a yeah. real place for me, you know. And like now I'm free. Like I, I'm not scared to die. I don't want to die. Of course, I got a lot to sure. live for. Sure. But I'm not scared of it because I I know that there's no bad place that I'm gonna go and burn for all these. Like I don't believe that yeah. anymore. And at one time yeah. that place was real for me. You know, it, it, uh, the the rapture. You know, like when when the news went, when my parents would leave the house. You know, and the news would come on or something. You know, I'd rush out. I want to see. You know, I'm I'm a kid. You know, I want to see if may, maybe 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 it's today. You know, because nobody knows. That's what the Bible yeah. says. Nobody knows. You know, so yeah, like. Yeah. You know, I want to make sure I was one of them, you know, like, uh, am I, am I doing the right thing? You know, it, it's just, you know, like, how can you live? Like, I, I feel so free from living my life under the thought of my every, not just action, but even my every thought being monitored. If I even think the wrong yeah. thing, I'm going to burn for eternity. You yeah. Know? So and I know I just, stepping and, away, and, stepping away from that, Rob, just in and of itself, I think is so, is so freeing. Um, and again, even though a lot of us on the outside now can see that as a really terrible experience and see how much, you know, fear and harm and all that other bad stuff was there. I I think, you know, Tom is right in that sense where there is a level of comfort that is often, you know, found by these people that hold these beliefs and for them that comfort outweighs all that other stuff. Now, I don't think that's the case, but that level of comfort is something that seems to, you know, go beyond all of those other things. So yeah, I know, I know it's a tough, it's a tough thing for sure. Um, But you know, that's why we do stuff like this. And, and hopefully if we can have some more good conversations, like we've had a couple today, yeah. Um, hopefully we can, we can get some more people to, uh, to kind of step away from those harmful things that that's harming others and themselves. Uh, yeah. because I, I don't think in either scenario it's good, but, uh, we're getting, we're getting close to the end, Rob. And I think we have Jay back and we always love talking with our theist friends. So, uh, we're going to let you go, but thank you so much for giving us a call today, Rob. Uh, I think it was yeah, a good thank one. You guys.